Now, we've all heard of organic food, but Pete, what's the difference when you want to buy certified organic? Well, a lot of companies out there claim to be organic, but if you want a real guarantee that what you're buying is the real deal, you need to look for the logo, which is the Australian Certified Organic or the BUD logo. Now, once you see the logo, what does that guarantee you? Well, it guarantees you a lot of things. And um, first and foremost, we're looking after the environment. Uh, holistic right. farming practices. Um, when we're talking about the soil, what we mean is that we're not using um, chemicals in there. Uh, when we're talking about the welfare of animals, we're talking about cruelty free, that they're not being pumped full of antibiotics or, or growth hormones. And um, they're being raised as nature intended. So it's a pretty great thing to have that logo. It's fantastic and one great thing that you can be guaranteed about is any company that has the logo, the Australian Certified Organic logo, uh, they get spot tested and uh, also audited annually just to make sure that they're doing the right things. So it's better for us and better for the world around us. Yeah, for sure. I mean, organics takes into account not only the, the soil, but the plants, the animals, the food, the people the environment. I mean, how cool is that? So it's quite holistic. Yeah, for sure. And you've got to think about it. Anything created with synthetic chemicals that goes into our food system is toxic for the environment. It is also toxic for our health and vitality and especially of our children. So do you honestly believe that having certified organic makes that much difference to your health? Well, it's not about my beliefs, but it just makes sense. But um, current science says, I mean, get this, if you adopt a certified organic diet for seven days, your exposure to pesticides goes down by 90%. I mean, if that isn't enough to make you want to investigate and make this a part of your, your daily life, then I don't know what will. That sounds great, but it is a bit expensive. It can be a little bit more expensive, but you have to think outside the box and uh, you need to create relationships with the farmers markets. You need to buddy up sometimes and buy in bulk, <laughs> um, buy seasonally. And uh, I mean, put it this way, there's farmers out there doing the right thing, not only by the planet, but for your health. Mm. And they're not cutting any corners. So it becomes down to a choice, who you're gonna spend your money with. People that uh, farming conventionally with pesticides and chemicals that end up into our food system and into our children's uh, mouths? Or do you prioritise and work out what is the most important for you? I know who I'd rather spend my money with. Looking at the bigger picture. You have to look at the bigger picture. Well, you've mentioned the farmers markets, but organic, it's a bit hard to find, isn't it? Well, if you think back 100 years ago, everything was organic, really. <laughs> I mean, we've taken a bit of a detour, but we're coming back on track because we're seeing organics pop up and certified organics pop up everywhere from green grocers, you know, your local fruit and veg store, even supermarkets now have certified organic produce. So there really shouldn't be any excuse. Just have to look for it. You gotta look for it. Now here's the big question. You're a chef, yep. does it actually taste better? <laughs> what do you reckon? I mean, I could guarantee you if I gave you a conventionally grown piece of fruit and I gave you an organic one that, and blindfolded you and gave it to you, one bite each, you'd know immediately which one was the organic one because it tastes better. I mean, it just makes sense because it's picked when it's ripe. It hasn't been kept in cold storage. I mean, we can't fool nature. Just buy organic, it's pretty simple and it tastes good.